In 1957, abstract expressionism, rock and roll, and the advent of beat poetry threatened the conservative-minded people of Iowa with change they viewed as dangerous and even criminal. A law was passed by the Iowa State Legislature making it a crime to knowingly produce and promote bad art. The law was selectively enforced and only a handful of people were ever incarcerated for making bad art. They were housed in a halfway house in Iowa City. The law's intention was that the public be spared the work of these artists while they served out their sentences. Among the notable inmates was the documentary filmmaker Henry Nemo and the naturalist painter, later Village Voice reporter, Edna Keegan. This film is from footage Henry Nemo shot on a June day in 1958 with a smuggled camera in Edna's rooms. It's just me disappearing into a place. You paint houses, you paint Mona Lisa. There's no difference. Edna Keegan, a young artist whose beliefs about the primacy of art and its regional nature led her to believe that in some fashion she was a slave to herself as artist and thus to her hands. As such, her art mostly became a set of self-portraits, not, as is commonly found among artists, of the face and body over time, but of her hands. They appear alternately as alien figures or figures of infantile fascination, as taskmasters, but they always seem to her as the other. One of her comrades in the halfway house, Olga, was a mime first identified in Davenport, Iowa, who got caught in a circus performer raid on the campus at the university there. Originally charged for being in the country illegally with her circus, she was instead tried as a bad artist when her silence made it impossible to determine whether she was, in fact, an alien. Sorry, I put the door there for the lovebirds. Well, I'm here because my dealer turned me in. My drawings might be criminal, but he knew that too. He gave me back my paintings and drawings, but then he told me to get lost. And that's what I'm here for. I got caught with a bunch of drawings from my Happy Turkey series, which I knew would be pretty dangerous. But the next thing I know, I'm under arrest in the gutter with his knee in my back. And can you believe it? The cop said to me, Lady, I hope you know now, art doesn't pay. Then he put the cuffs on.
the beat couple, Billy Snyder and Susie Immelman, exist as artists only in this tantalizing moment of their young creative genius. And here are the lovebirds. One is perplexed at how much greatness has been lost or ignored when one sees this young couple at work in their only documented piece. The fall. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Yellow quince fruit of a noon day nap. Falling, falling, falling. Pomegranate oh. of an evening slumber. Turning, yellow, turning, brown, turning away. away. Come, quiet. The death's good morning, Embrace. Winter. Winter. <laughs> guys, guys, we're running out of film here. Come on. Frustratingly, the film ends there. I can't hear what you're saying. I cannot understand what you're saying. Why does everybody think that if you're from a different country, you know all the languages?